Hi, uh, this is Ben here with the BCD 436 HP scanner. Um, this is the third attempt of this video. Let's try to get it right this time. I'm going to show you how to program this BCD 436 scanner in manually. The reason why I have you, I have it that way is because, uh, or I recommend doing it that way, is because when you hook up the scanner to the computer software, um, after you already have programmed it for everything else that you wanted in there, um, it could sometimes by default take out your settings and also sometimes remove what you already have programmed in there um, I don't know why it just does it I'm, I'm not too good with computers so um, I rather do it manually so I don't lose anything that I already have or any of my default settings in my scanner so to do this manually is pretty simple as well except for it's a little more time-consuming first thing you need to do is hit the side button I'm going to be going to clear first. I want to say I'm going to I'm going to be going to Clearwater Beach, Florida, for vacation soon. So I want to show you how you would program the scanner in manually, um, in case you are going away, for example, to Clearwater Beach, Florida. So I'm going to hit first the side button, okay? And first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to set my location because we're going to be going to a different place, okay? Then we're going to do set range first, okay? You do not want to have the scanner set to 20 miles. If you have that, you're going to pull in frequencies from like five different states. You don't want that. You only want to pull in frequencies from the area that you're in. For some reason, by default, the scanner pulls in frequencies from far other places for no reason. So you have to hit 0 0.0. 0. Let's try this again. 0, 0.0. And hit yes for enter. Okay. So now we have our range set. Okay. And, um... For, for right now, the full database is set for my area, for New York and New Jersey. So I'm going to have to change that to, um, of course, the zip code for where I'm going, to Florida. So I'll wait until this finishes up. Finishes loading, which takes a while. Okay. All right, good. So now we're going to hit the side button. Okay. Then we're going to go to set location again. We're going to hit to enter zip code. It's USA, so hit the top button. And the zip code for Clearwater Beach is 33767. So we're going to hit on the scanner 33767. Enter. Okay. Now it's loading the full database for Florida instead. Okay. Again, this is not going into my favorite list yet, okay? This is not going into my favorite list. This is going into the... I'm just putting this into the scanner's full database. Okay, once that loads in, you want to go to your scan selection. So hit the side button, set scan selections on top. You just want to make sure... Let's go to select nationwide system. I'm sorry, select list to monitor, top button. And you want to make sure you don't have things turned off that are turned on. Okay. Um, full database is on. That's fine. Side button again. Um, now what we want to do is we want to go to set nationwide system, select top button. Okay. And you want to make sure everything's turned on that you want turned on. Okay, which is good. I like to keep everything on right now, just so I know everything's going to go in there at first. Side button again. Okay, then we're going to hit the side button, and now the next thing we want to do is we want to select the service types. Scroll down, select service types, hit top button. Okay, make sure everything is turned on that you want to go in there. Um, Sometimes by default the EMS TAC is turned off, so make sure you have that turned on, EMS talk. Make sure you have everything turned on that you want to go into your favorite list. If not, then you can turn it off now. I really don't want corrections, so I have that turned off. Okay. And um so but for now I'm just gonna keep everything turned on for the most part. I have ham also turned off. Okay, so I'm gonna select out. Okay. And so we're good for that. So now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to select our new favorite list. We're going to have to create it. Okay. 
So we go to manage favorites. Using the button on top, you're going to scroll to manage favorites, hit top button, push it in. New favorite list. So we're going to hit the top button again. Okay. And we're going to set a quick key for it. That's like a bank number um, for those who are familiar with older scanners. Um, you, so I'm going to go to select favorite quick list, um, uh, set favorite list quick key, top button. I'm going to make this quick key 22 because I know for sure that's the one I have empty. So I'm going to go down to 22. And I'm going to select it by pushing in the button. All right, so now favorites is going to go into 22. All right. I know it says favorite zero. That's because we haven't renamed it yet. I could go down now and I could click rename and change it to say Clearwater Beach. I'm going to wait to the end to do that. Um, it's not um, for, for purposes of this video. We're just going to call this favorite zero for now. Um, so now we're good. Okay, so now we have favorites. So now we have everything set up. So now we're just going to add all the current DB channels that we just uploaded into the scanner into that favorites list. Okay, so go down to add current DB channels, which is right here, and then hit the top button in and confirm yes. You have to go down here to the keyboard pad, hit yes, and it should be working. Now you should be adding in all your channels to your database. This is all going into your favorite list 22 that we just created. It's adding everything in there. This does take some time. So be mindful of that. There's a lot of channels going in there, so it takes some time. Okay, so everything's in there now, okay? Um, next thing you want to do, and this is the part that's going to take a while. I'm only going to do one example to show you how to do it. You're going to want to go back. You're going to go to want to review what's in there, okay? So I click Review Edit System, top button, okay? And now it's going to go into um, everything that just went in there, okay? Uh, for example... I don't want businesses. I don't need to be bothered with that. So I'm going to go to select the businesses. So first we're going to go to business, select top button. And we're going to go down, we're going to go scroll down to delete system. Hit top button again. And we're going to confirm to yes, we want to delete the system for businesses. Okay. I also want to do the other business one. This is a thick, there are two, yes, yeah, there's a second businesses in here. So I'm going to get rid of that too. Top button, scroll down, delete system. Yes. Okay. Top button. So now businesses, as you can see, is gone. Okay. And you want to do that. This is going to take about a half hour or so. You want to go through every single thing you don't want and get rid of it. And just keep the one the things that you want to keep that you want to scan in the scanner for favorite list 22. Okay. Um, I'm going to show you another video on what to do next because um, after this you do want to make sure you turn your full database off and in my next video I'll show you how to do that so you're just scanning favorite list 22 not your full database so I'll show you how you turn that off in the next video but um, that should help for now of course I apologize for the shaky camera um, only have two hands and um, any negative comments of course will be deleted immediately so don't even bother and if you have any questions, legit questions, I'll be happy to answer them. Just, just put them in the comments below. Thank you. Have a great day.